Welcome to the 8th lecture on uh, digital simulation. Uh, in this video, we will see how to use Newton Raphson method to solve a nonlinear equation in one variable. Suppose we have a nonlinear equation of the form f of x equal to 0, x is the variable, and we want to calculate the value of x at which the function uh, reaches 0. The function takes uh, value equal to 0. So we will start with an initial guess x of 0 and uh, if x of 0 is such that f of x of 0 is very close to 0 then we have reached the root we have calculated the root and there is no need to proceed further but if f of x of 0 is uh, not equal to 0 if it is not uh, appreciably close to 0 then we are uh, somewhat far away from the root so we have to update the value of x of 0 so let x of 1 is acceptably close to 0 so we have to update our x of 0 and reach the new value x of 1 and if f of x of 1 is acceptably close to 0 then we can write f of x of 1 equal to 0 and x of 1 is obtained by updating x of 0 by a small amount delta x of 0 so here uh, x of 1 is replaced by x of 0 plus delta x of 0 now we can expand this left hand side using Taylor series so f of x of 0 plus delta x of 0 can be written as f of x of 0 plus f dash of x of 0 first derivative of x uh, function evaluated at x of 0 multiplied by delta x of 0 plus second derivative of function f evaluated at x of 0 that is f double dash of x of 0 into delta x of 0 the whole square by 2 factorial then f 3 dash of x of 0 into delta x of 0 the whole cube by 3 factorial like that it will continue with the infinite terms so this is equal to 0 from the previous expression right hand side is 0 now if delta x of 0 is very uh, small number if delta x of 0 is a very small value we can neglect the higher order terms delta x of 0 square will be very small delta x of 0 cube that is also very small so we can neglect the higher order terms without much error uh, so we will consider only the first two terms so the previous equation becomes f of x of 0 plus f dash of x of 0 into delta x of 0 equal to 0 from this we can write delta x of 0 is equal to minus of f of x of 0 by f dash x of 0 so this is the value of update delta x of 0 so x of 1 is evaluated by updating x of 0 with this delta x of 0 so i have substituted the value of delta x of 0 from the previous equation it is a minus of f of x of 0 by f dash x of 0 now you can check the value of f of x of 1 if f of x of 1 is uh, close to 0 then we have reached the root otherwise we have to uh, iterate this again we have to use the above steps further to get the new update x of 2 so if the above value f of x of 1 is not close to 0 if x of 1 is not an acceptable solution then we have to update uh, x of 1 by delta x of 1 so as to get the new value x of 2 this is the second iteration so x of 2 will be x of 1 minus f of x of 1 by f dash x of 1 similar to the previous problem then like this you can proceed further and uh, you can stop the iterations uh, when the value f of x of k is equal to uh, is close to 0 is approximately equal to 0 where x of k is the value at the kth iteration of value of x at the kth iteration so this process i will illustrate with the help of an example suppose we want to solve the nonlinear equation x into e raised to x minus 2 equal to 0 suppose this is the equation we want to solve so you can see that this is a nonlinear equation we cannot get a direct solution mm. only through this iterative procedure we will get the solution 
So let us start with an initial guess. This is our initial guess. X of 0 equal to 1. Then evaluate the delta x of 0. That is equal to minus f of x of 0 by f dash x of 0. So I have evaluated f of 1. x of 0 is 1. So f of 1, if you evaluate, you will get 1, 0.7183. And f dash of 1. In order to evaluate f dash of 1, first we have to compute f dash x. So the function is x e raised to x minus 2. So the derivative, this is f, f dash is x into derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x plus e raised to x into derivative of x. Derivative of x is 1. Derivative of 2 is 0. So this is the value f dash. f dash of x is x e raised to x plus e raised to x. That is x plus 1 into e raised to x. And f dash of 1 we can evaluate. You will get 5.4366. So if you plug in the value of f dash of x of 0, sorry, f dash of x of 0 and f of x of 0, you get the value of the update delta x of 0. So it is minus 0.1321. Using this value, we can update our initial guess x of 0 plus delta x of 0, you will get the uh, value x of 1. It is 0.8679. Now let us check whether this is the uh, solution to the above equation. So evaluate the uh, function at this point f of 0.869 if you evaluate it turns out to be 0 0.06725 so this is uh, slightly um, uh, away from the um, value 0 it is not exactly equal to 0 we need to get at least uh, correct to 4 or 5 decimal places so so we will proceed again we will iterate do one more iteration so if you do the second first uh, second iteration you can calculate the update delta x of 1 equal to minus f of x of 1 by f dash x of 1 so f of x of 1 is we have already evaluated here f of x of 1 is 0 0.06725 f dash of x of 1 you have to evaluate f dash of x of 1 is 0.8679 so if you evaluate the derivative of the function at 0.8679 it is 4.4492 so substitute those values here you will get the delta x value and you can update your x so x of 2 turns out to be 0 0.8 by 278 so if we evaluate the value uh, the function at this point still it is not uh, close to 0 so again do one more iteration so if you do one more iteration you will get the new update as 0 0.8 by 2606 this is the value of x at the third iteration and if you check the function at this point you can see that it is very close to 0 Okay, 0 0.0000216. So it is very close to zero. We can stop our iteration at this point. So the convergence criteria can be selected by the user based on his requirement. Based on the num uh, up to what number of decimal places you need and uh, need the solution correctly. So based on that, you can set the convergence criteria. So this is how we can use a new uh, use Newton-Raphson method to solve. A non-linear equation in one variable. Thank you.